Another beautiful day in the Canadian wilderness. Guys, this place is so resourceful. It's so teeming with life everywhere you look in the water. There's some bait fish. Uh, we've already caught walleye, we've caught pike, we've caught crappie, we've caught the smallmouth, of course. I think today, me and dad are just gonna go enjoy ourselves in the Canadian wilderness. Just these sights and the sounds and just soak it in. We're gonna take you guys along for the ride. My name's LFG and I'm gonna be your tour guide for today. Sitting on the old 60 horse Yami right here, giving the old gas, giving her a go. Gotta trim her down all the way, make sure we get on pad quite safely. Make sure to keep all arms and legs in sight the vessel at all times. And don't forget your crawler harness. We're about to go catch some walleyes, folks. We're sending it all the way up. This is an hour boat ride. So we're gonna be twiddling our thumbs for a while on this little motor steer but eventually we'll get there guys until then enjoy some slow-mo b-roll of this beautiful place So here's what I enjoy about this lake. Ooh, look at these boulders. I like just going down the bank and catching whatever. I mean, this lake's not known for giant smallmouth. Tons of three pounders in here. You can literally just go and catch smallmouth, pike, walleye, perch, not really crappie. Crappie's a special deal. You can catch all those species in the same type areas and just pick, you can have like three or four rods and then just, oh yeah, that looks grassy. I'll throw that, I'll get some pike right there. Oh, look at those boulders. Let's catch some smallmouth. This point looks good. Let's catch a walleye for a short lunch. You can do it all right here and the fishing is good. It's especially good this year, I think. So that's what we're kind of doing up here. Just enjoying whatever nature gives us out here in the great outdoors. LFD is... I've messed up. He swept I have, himself. I have pain. Mm, ow. That oh my gosh, Dad. That doesn't work. That's not working. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's really in there. Yes, it's in there. Dang, Dad. Well, you didn't even say anything. You were like, oh, well, I've hooked myself. <laughs> Man oh, up on it. Don't hook your hands. Oh, God, are you going through the other side? Yeah. Oh, my God. Dad. <laughs> what, what can I do here? Pray. <laughs> we need, okay, are you going to stick it through and we're going to cut the other side? Yes, that's what I have to do. Oh. 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 Oh, it's through. Oh. Thank God. Oh, jeez. <sighs> If you give me a stick to bite on or something. That's a bad one, Dad. I know. Guys, I love my dad. He's a little clumsy, though. LFD's a little clumsy. He never goes anywhere without a, a pair of cutters with him because he's hooked himself more than one time. This, this happened. <laughs> this hurts. It's, I pulled it through. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've ever done this. I have actually never hooked myself like this. I've hooked two people. They were my really good friends. I apologize, I, but it's been a long, long time. He was so calm. He's like, well, I've hooked myself. I thought it was just, you know, kind of under the skin. It was deep. So, all right, we got to get this out. 
Okay, what is the plan here? You're gonna cut the other side? I'm gonna cut the barb off. All right, show us how it's done. So if this right. ever happens to any other fishing freaks. All right, yeah, you have, you have to pull the barb all the way through. Make sure you get it all the way through. You gotta get that barb. See the, the barb? Oh yeah, I can and see it. Watch your lids. Oh God, I think I got some skin. Watch your eyeballs. Oh yeah, I think it actually did hit the camera. Oh. So now the, you can pull it through clean. The hard part is done. All right, show us those pli those cutters that right. you always carry. You gotta have some of these. If you don't, the fish may hook you and be flopping around and jerk it through your skin like this. Grab it. Don't hook yourself. Oh, in. and it comes right out. Oh my gosh! Look yeah. at that. That is nasty. And see, now you got oh. the the hook. So I'll cut off. You're a real man. I just want to give you a fist pump. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! Oh god! Oh, oh my gosh! You're so clumsy. Oh. Thank God it didn't go in. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dad, be careful. Oh. Just be careful. Oh. All right. If we catch a pike, I'm gonna be handling it. Okay. Especially if it's got treble hooks. <laughs> That's a deal. Everybody, hit the like button for LFD. He's a he's a champion out on the water. He he's still. He keeps after it. Doesn't let a little treble hook get him down. Yeah, you gotta keep going. There's a big one out here somewhere. Oh yeah. Oh, he grabbed it. Yep, that's where he was. Came up and slurped it. Oh my God. As soon as I saw him, he was just right on it. We actually saw a boil over there said to dad, I was like, I bet it's a smallie guarding an area. So I just threw in that general area and boop. They are beautiful. Return him back into the water. See you, buddy. There he goes. So the first spot we pulled up to, you know, after dad's got his hook out of his leg, gets going. It's only a little top water and we're seeing a few fish on beds, but whew, these black flies, they bite too. Seeing a couple fish on beds, not committing to the top water. So I want to show dad a new technique, weightless worming at the surface using super light finesse gear. And I got a new bait to show you guys. Some of y'all already know we've been working on uh, Guggen baits for a little while and I only brought a few up here. But one of the baits is a smallmouth bait and it's a uh, finesse drop shot, well basically a finesse worm. But what I'm about to do and show dad is to, to hook it wacky rig and fish it at the surface and just shaking it like I did with the Cheeto worms that you guys saw, those orange worms. I'm going to use that same technique except it's on these fish. I'm sure they're going to munch it because they won't fully commit to the top water while it's sitting over there. But that worm shaking, uh, I can't stand it. Let me show you guys how this thing works. Perfect technique. Thank you. <laughs> I've never done that before. Nice. That's awesome, Dad. Good job. Let's go back in the deeps. Harness the strength. Uh, <laughs> get, get his face. There you go. Look at the eyes on that thing. God, it's beautiful, man. Well, he just ate them. Wow. That's the old dragon drop. Sweet little finesse worm for this stuff. That's cool. All right, Dad. Let's let this beautiful fish go. Give me five on that one. Is 
that fun? It, it was. Put it up there. It's fun watching me eat it on top, huh? Yeah. You know the cool part is? There's another one like 20 feet next to it. Oh, is it right here? Yeah. Got it. Oh my gosh. Two cats, two fish. Come on, baby. Come on, man. Get up. <sighs> nice. Let's go find some more. That is cool. I've never done that. That's the literally the first time I've ever done that. Pretty awesome. The floating worm. These are the baits right here, y'all. So you're always going to have straight worms. And you get a pack of these and uh that is it right there look at that oh, just a little doozy mm -hmm. that's like a green pumpkin pearl color it's good for a lot of situations but super high quality plastic guys stuff is good really good so let's get another one and give it a dangle oh yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty fun to sight fish for him. He was a little finicky though. I think all these pockets in here are going to be good. That's a cool smallmouth bait. Perfect for this little technique right here. That's the rig right there. The thing is so light. I'm using braid too. It floats. And literally you can just shake it on the surface and it looks like a little dragonfly or something twitching up there. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's got it. Came up and grabbed it. That's cool. So visual. Oh, he threw the worm. He threw the worm. There's not many in existence right now. Look at all these big bowlers here, Dad. This is nine pound braided line. That stuff floats and it's super sensitive. And this is a medium light jackhammer. This rod's phenomenal. They're a little pricey, but they're they're freaking worth it if you like doing this finesse stuff. Gorgeous. These guys are gorgeous. Love you. Mm. <sighs> so that technique right there is literally like fishing top water, but you're just fishing a, a worm. Uh, I saw that fish coming, and I slowed it down so he would he would come up and, and nip it. But I have no idea if it was on a bed. It could have been. Well, Dad, how many eagles have you seen land in their nest while you're hearing the loons sing in the background? That close. <laughs> Never. This is the first one for me. That is awesome. We literally said today, let's go explore what the lake gives us. Let's go explore nature. Doesn't get any better than that. I was trying to chase a couple of bald eagles. They're so big and they fly so fast and cover so many miles looking for fish out here. But that was incredible. Just seeing that. The fishing's great, guys, but honestly, it's it's about soaking this kind of stuff in when you come to places like this. And these loons are awesome. They sing to each other when one is under the water, and I love the sounds that they make. It's really neat, and they're beautiful birds, and it's kind of the, uh, the staple of up here. I feel like when you're in Canada, you hear those loons, and they make just such a distinct sound, and it echoes against the rocks, and it's just awesome. It's awesome, guys. Do I have the fish? The fish you said couldn't be caught? Yeah. Oh, we just spit up a bug too. Look at it. Look at all the stuff he's spitting up. The fish that couldn't be caught, LFD says. Yeah, you got me on that one. Here we go, drag and drop. He was a little trickier, I'll give you that. Just can't stand it in the shallows. How about a little boat flip, buddy? Yeah! Look at this, Dad. Look at the crawfish pinchers down its throat. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that oh, cool? Look at that, guys. I don't know if you can see right inside there, crawfish pinchers. That's awesome. Okay, I think I have shown you the quintessential Canadian 
rainy lake experience right here. But I think we're gonna wrap this video up right here and we're gonna go after some more bikes. My PB pike is over 40 inches. Dad's is just under. I think yours was like 37, 36. 37, 38. Right yeah, there. something like that. Yep. See how he bumped it up a couple inches? Yeah. That's the LFD way. People up here need to learn how to respect the pike. Super bullet fish with giant jaws ready to crunch anything that comes in front of it. What's not to like? <laughs> I love it, Dad. I think you just summed it up. Dad's leg's gonna be okay as well. You took one for the team early, you shook it off, and you played like a champion. I'm proud of you, Dad. Alrighty, fishing freaks, let me know in the comments if you've ever hooked yourself or someone else. I'm sure there's some great stories out there. And thank you guys for tuning in. You know what to do, subscribe right here to the channel. We got one more Canadian series awesomeness coming your way. So hit the ding-dongs for notifications. We'll see you then.